Hey, good morning. Happy Saturday to you. Let me show you what I'm looking at. A couple of tall palm trees. These palm trees are about 40 to 50 feet tall. Honestly, can't even appreciate them because they're a <laughs> one story house. We're always looking across, not up too high. Got some some oak trees here no, there's a couple more palm trees we actually have we actually have about 11 of these they're they're cabbage palms so they're not really the the coolest palm trees they grow i mean if you i guess if you don't live in florida they're pretty cool um, but here they're not some of the exotic type of palm trees but you can think these things have taken its time to grow to that that tall they didn't just get planted we didn't just uh, buy some 40 foot tall palm trees and stick them in the ground and uh <laughs> for the saturday i want to just put some things in perspective when it comes to losing weight as this is a typically the three-day stretch friday saturday friday evening saturday and sunday where a lot of people over 40 struggle and I want to give you really the best opportunity for you to win in your weight loss struggles. Maybe you're struggling. Maybe you're, you're stuck. Maybe the weekends are what ex is exactly what gets in you, gets in the way of you becoming your best, becoming your healthiest, becoming your fittest for not just you, but for your family, for your confidence, maybe for your work, for the things you want to do. Um, maybe you even have some some physical injuries and you know that you need to get back in shape and lose the weight and I want to give you really in the next few minutes to share with you the best way to get the hugest weight loss results like the best the biggest weight loss results and over the years that I've seen the biggest biggest results they come from this and and just hang with me as I just let me show you again those that palm tree again long palm tree so you think where did that palm tree come from I want to just kind of put this in perspective so it probably if you can see let me see if i can scroll in there's these berries i don't know if you can see them right now maybe on this one you can see those berries you see those up there in the corner there's these like palm berries that are up there and now they are a nuisance they're actually a pain in the butt and we get them trimmed and a lot of people get them trimmed and those berries sorry somebody must have pulled the driveway the dog's barking but the those berries start and that's a seed right and that can go in the ground and that's ultimately how that palm tree started it started from a seed and can you imagine how long it must have taken for that palm tree to get to 40 or 50 feet like a, like a long a long time they were here well before we were here the house that was that we're living in was built in the 50s so i would almost imagine that this house was or these trees were here even before that which makes you think it took a long long time so how the heck does this relate to Weight loss. Mark, what you're talking about palm trees. How does that relate? Well, I'm going to get there in just a moment, so bear with me. So think of that seed, and it grows, and, and it gets water, and it gets sunlight, and it grows just like anything. Like if you grow vegetables, we have a tower garden, and we grow, and it takes time. It took time for us to grow, and actually now we have to replant, and um, we're ready for like the next the next planting in our in our tower garden over there that looks really bare at the moment. But you know it started with a seed, and then it grows, and it takes time, and and how I want you to think about going into your weekend and going into maybe some, some challenges and struggles you have with weight loss is the hugest, the best, the biggest, biggest weight loss um, happens from the little things. You see, it's got to start small. And you know what happened? I bet uh, if I were to follow, if we could have actually put like one of those GoPro cameras, you know, like time lapse or even on your phone and could have time lapse this tree. I bet you there was going to be a period where the seed started. And then let's just go over here for a minute. Let's just see here. So you see like down there, I don't know what that is on the ground. I think that's one of those bird things, but you see right down on there. Look, you can even see some other things starting to grow a little. But that palm tree right there started with seed and then it probably wasn't that big when it grew its roots. It probably started out small, like any small palm tree, like maybe like some of these, these plants back here. And then it grew and it got bigger and it grew and it got bigger and it got more sunlight and it got more water. And even the wind, you know, here's what's really cool about trees. You see these during hurricanes and then you see up here, look, it grew and grew and grew and grew. And now it is really a beautiful, beautiful palm tree, although I don't I don't really appreciate them much because they're, I have to pay money for people to climb up those palm trees. I actually considered it myself and I said, no, that's not a smart idea. 
But what's, what's amazing to think is how long they lasted and they developed really, really strong roots and it started from the seed. So the way to get the best and the hugest, the biggest, best results with your weight loss is to just think about the little things. Think about the little things that matter. I think what times is we always just focus on a couple things. Ah, oh, I drank too much. Ah, oh, I ate too much. And those things might be true, but it isn't, chances are it isn't from just one meal or two meals or enjoying maybe Corby a donut here or there. <laughs> That's not the thing. But when it becomes the focus, if you're for if you're focusing on say the big things when it comes to weight loss and get disappointed that you don't see the scale change and it's maybe because of the little things is why you're not able to move forward and i say here's here's the way to know it is if you've been struggling and challenged with weight loss and losing weight and gaining weight and holiday seasons are rolling around right so i know there's a little bit of fear out there and i don't want you to be afraid but i think if you actually take the time now right to start to look at where you're at, to see what's the biggest struggle that you're having and to just do a little self-assessment. It doesn't take a lot to think about the things, the choices you make and to realize that some of the little things. Now look, there's, I know football season and I know the weather's getting cooler and the tendency for us people in our 40s and older, we know, we know that we can't ne eat nearly like we used to. We know we really can't drink nearly like we used to back maybe in our 20s. We know we still have to be active, but the weather changes, it gets cooler, we want this football on, we want to have the drinks, and we want, and then there's all these holiday parties coming around, and then we just get stuck again in the same kind of place, a predicament that we've been in. And I would say is, you know, I'm sitting on the hammock here. And one of the things for me I've realized is that the harder you go, the more rest you need. And I think that's something that we go, go, go as, as if you're a busy mom or dad in your forties and you're, you're just on the go all the time, maybe you run a business and you have a family and you want to do fun things. It's like, you're go and it's easy to focus on all the big things that you need to take care of, but it's sometimes simple as hanging out on a hammock, just reflecting and just taking a deep breath and and thinking about the little things and as i sat on this hammock before doing the show i was thinking i looked up and i saw this long palm tree and i was thinking of the the lifespan of this palm tree and how the little things over time grew and grew and grew and you know when i say the hugest like the 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 size of a 40 50 foot this is probably 50 foot tall maybe 45 foot tall palm tree it took time it took patience and it's neat, I, I found out in some of the areas, now our palm trees don't have it too much, but you, sometimes where the weather in the season changes, the palms have different rings, they have different size, they get thicker and then thinner. And what's really neat is sometimes when they're really weathered over like a bad hurricane season or maybe even a drought is that they change in the shape of, now these are pretty solid. Let me just show this with you. These are pretty solid here. See that pretty solid all the way up all the way up and they've they've weathered i know a number of hurricanes and i think actually some of those hurricanes most likely i i believe when you the wind the trees take the wind it actually makes them stronger so i don't know what's maybe the wind that's blowing and trying to to blow actually blow your diet out of the water and that you continue to struggle but sometimes that resistance is a good thing is it forces you to to respond rather than just react and get upset about it so anyway this is a saturday daily dose and uh, if today maybe you need to just sit on your hammock in the backyard and take a moment for yourself to think about the little things that really really matter and i always like to vision you know, put the vision out there. What do you want to see happen? Three months is a long time to get a lot of results. And I think sometimes we just look at here comes the holiday season. Let's just wait until the new year to get things started. Let's just wait till January 1st. And, and let's just be the whole cliche of everybody else. You know, what they're doing, who are struggling is all, I'll just get through the holidays, put on an extra 10 or 20 pounds, and then we'll deal with it in the new year. But look what happened this year. You might've been on the best path. You might have been in an amazing path with your health and you maybe even lost weight and got in great shape. And then what happened? Then we had this COVID lockdown. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but today is a day that you can actually start to think about those little things because truly it's the little things that if you focus on those, they compound. Consistency compounds and it's something that you have to give it time, give it patience and water it and nurture it like these trees did by nature was able to nurture it and be able to grow these trees up into really strong trees that can weather really pretty much any storm. I bet I would say unless like a hurricane 
hurricane came or a um, tornado came here, maybe snapped them in half. Aside from that, I guarantee you these palm trees can weather pretty big storms. So that's all I have. I hope you, this daily dose found you well. And if you want any help as far as understanding how to get out of a rut or get unstuck, reach out to me, send me a message. I am an online coach. I help moms and dads, primarily over 40. And I would say as more moms and dads, dads, we all think we can do it on our own. We think we know how to do it. We think we, oh yeah, I used to work out hard when I was in my twenties, but I would say moms, I know it's typically women who, who are more apt to get help. And I've been working with women, honestly, more so than men for the past 25 years, actually even considering just starting to just only work with women. Um, And I say that is that, uh, there's a lot of life left. I look at it as I'm 48 and if I live to God willing to maybe 88 or even 98, there's a whole lot of life left. And I know if I focus on the little things now, that is going to be some big, big breakthroughs for me and not my weight loss journey, my fitness journey. And they can be for you as well, whether you choose to hire a coach to help you or not. That's all I have. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Enjoy. It's a cloudy Saturday today, but it, luckily it's not raining on me here. Take care and have a blessed one. We'll see you.